Hello, I'm Robert Pacelli, Gong Hai Fat Choi. We're on our way to Hong Kong to celebrate Chinese New Year, Hong Kong style. Welcome to Hong Kong. We're here in Hong Kong today to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Like all New Years, it's a time for new beginnings, a time for joy, a time for hope, and a look into the future to see what blessings will be brought upon us. The Chinese Lunar New Year marks the beginning of spring. It's often called the Spring Festival. According to Chinese tradition, this is the year of the monkey. The monkey is mischievous, active, and prone to give you aggravation. But in the end, everything should work out right. The streets are alive, the markets are full, the preparations are going on day in and day out for the biggest festival of the year. Five. Uh, you go. Are you a princess? No, uh, oh, do you go? The monkey. The monkey, that's uh, Monkey hat. Monkey hat. <laughs> yeah, extra. Extra. Fight. Extra. Temples are very busy. This being the last day of the old year, promises made and gifts to be given to the gods must be completed in order to have a prosperous new year. Tens of thousands of tourists flock to Hong Kong to shop at this world-famous marketplace, to dine on incredible cuisine, and most of all, to celebrate the New Year's. The sounds of many languages filled the air as 17 different groups from 11 different countries came together to rehearse for the big night. Flower markets have sprung up all over the city. The purchase of flowers in the New Year's not only has to do with beautifying your home, but pleasing the gods and possibly deciding how many grandchildren you will have. Happy New Year! Yeah, Happy New Year, you too! As the day ends and people descend upon the market to purchase the necessities of the New Year, new clothes, special fruits, Sweets for the kitchen gods? And anything red to scare away the bad spirits, even underwear.
Handing out money in the New Year's is a tradition to bring you good luck. But as I was to find out, it would bring me more than just luck. Well, as soon as I got some money, there was somebody to take it away. I hope the luck doesn't go with it. A visit to the temple is mandatory in the Chinese New Year. People come from all over the world, most of them with a burning question for the gods. Usually it has to do with money or love or health. Here, three faiths come together, Buddhists, Taoists, and Confucians. What brings them all together under one roof is the belief that if they offer incense, the smoke they release will carry their message into the spirit world. This belief draws tens of thousands of people here for the first day of the new year. It's time for the first blessing of the year, which is the most important of all. Happy Chinese New Year! Kong He Fat Joy! The British handed over Hong Kong back to the Chinese. They also delivered a little package born in the London Zoo. This panda in Hong Kong created pandemonium for the people. It's one of the few furry bears that lives in captivity. Now pandas are mostly known for sleeping in trees and eating bamboo shoots. We happen to catch this one who is named Jaya on what his keepers would call a busy day. Anan and Jaya are the two living here. As you can see, they're not as excited to see us as we were to see them. There's a whole panda conservation society at work in Hong Kong to make sure that they live a good long time. Want to try your luck on the New Year? Well, what could be better than the sport of kings at the world famous Jockey Club? As the sun set, an international group of performers came together to form the Parade of Parades to celebrate this Chinese New Year.
Happy New Year! Happy New Year! How you doing? You gonna have good luck this year? Yeah, We've got Eddie this this year. <laughs> you guys having good luck this year? Good luck, good luck. Yes, very good luck. Very good luck, yeah. huh? Yeah. What peace? Peace. Peace. Uh. World peace. Uh. That's a good one. Yes. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, of course. We are all the best spirits for the years, and we hope for the coming years, we are, everybody have a good luck for this year. Yes, Kung Hei Fa Choi. Hello? That's what the drums say to alert the gods that the people are coming. Inside the temple, they use fortune sticks to help predict their destiny for the new year. There are good numbers and bad numbers on the fortune sticks. Naturally, everyone wants to pick a good or lucky number, but it doesn't always work out that way. Last year was number 83, and it promised a difficult year ahead for Hong Kong, and many thought that's what came to pass. This year, the year of the monkey, it's 76. It promises difficulty, but it comes mixed with opportunity.
the new provinces, but in the new provinces we're going to do a very ancient custom. And the ancient custom is that we take this tangerine, we wrap it around a very, very special piece of paper like this, and we write down our wishes our wishes and desires for the whole year. Now after we write them down, we roll it all up, put it all together, and see how high we can get it on the wishing tree. The higher up on the wishing tree we can get it, the closer to the reality it'll become. Now I don't know, my arm's a little sore and these people seem real professional at it, but let's go give it a try. Okay, well like everybody else, I have a wish and I'm gonna write my wish down, but I can't tell you what it is because then it won't happen. But just give me one moment. And you always have to add your name. You have to add your name so when it gets on the tree, the gods know who they're going to give the wish to. Okay, here we go. I'm rolling it up. And we're going to go over and just see how well I can do on this. I'm not real sure how you wrap this, kind of like this. And there's always the tangerine. The tangerine is the fruit. It's orange. <laughs> right. It's always an orange. The orange is the fruit. Now, we're not making orange juice here. We're actually making wishes come true. Okay, let's see what happens. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Here we go. Will I get my wishes? Will they come true? Will my arm give out? Will I pitch for the New York Yankees? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, it, it fell down. I don't know what that means. Does that mean my wishes won't come true? No, you get a second chance, which is something in life you don't always get. So let's try it again. You know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to change the angle this time. I'm gonna try to get up closer and do it because it's not always power. It's always good luck. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, maybe next year. Big Bowl Feast is a New Year's tradition here in Hong Kong that dates back thousands of years. An emperor who escaped the warlords came running to the Hong Kong's new provinces. The people were so excited to see him that they cooked every single piece of food on the island. After they completed the cooking, they realized they didn't have enough bowls to serve the emperor. So they created a big wooden bowl. And in this bowl, they put layer upon layer upon layer of fish, meat, and vegetables. And today, families get together in the New Year's to celebrate this culinary delight. This ancient tradition has a rather modern twist here. You can get your bowl to go. Here comes the money god. He's here to hand out money, the currency of the realm. But what I found out is that the true wealth of Hong Kong 
is in its peoples. And during the Chinese New Year's is when they come back together, leaving all other worries of life behind to celebrate the past, present, and their hope that New Year's will bring them happiness and prosperity. Over the past couple of days, they've made peace with their hopes and wishes from the Year of the Ram. Now that the Year of the Monkey is upon them, it's time to look to the future. Gong Hoi Fat Choi. Thank you.